New to Unity 6 are build profiles, which let you set up numerous custom build settings for different platforms. They save time and streamline the build process. In this video, we will take a look at how to use build profiles in Unity 6. Go to File and Build Profiles. There are some changes to the older build settings in previous versions of Unity. On the left, we see the old build settings window and on the right, the newer build profiles window. By default, the Build Profiles window can work exactly the same as the Build Settings window, so your existing workflows will not be interrupted. Adding Build Profiles is optional. All the platforms on the left share from the scene list. At any point, you can update the scene list. However, that will also change for all platforms you are building for. All platforms also use the player settings, which you can open from here. To switch a platform, select it from the list and choose Switch to Platform. If it is greyed out, this indicates that the modules are not installed. Click Install with the Unity Hub and it auto-checks the required modules, allowing you to quickly install them to activate that platform. To use the optional build profiles, click Add a build profile and choose the platform from the list. You will use one platform per build profile. This creates a profile asset that you can access from the project window. Right-click on the profile to either duplicate, rename or delete. If you choose to override the global scene list, you can now define the scenes to load. These are unique to this build profile and will not be affected when you change the scene list, either in the global scene list or the scenes in any other build profile. You can also override the player settings. These will be unique to this profile. Various options can be changed specific to this platform or build, including resolution, color space, icons and splash menus, etc. You may want to customize your settings for mobile. When switching to an Android or iOS build profile, the settings are customized to best suit those devices. You can still modify the settings, however, including adding icons, changing resolution settings, etc. This is useful if a game needs to be restricted to portrait or landscape mode only. Developers can also enter publishing settings for release on an app store and share with team members. You can continue to add or remove scenes from the build profile either in this window or directly in the inspector by selecting the profile asset. The asset file can be moved to different projects or shared across the cloud with version control to other members of your team. This makes it easy for them to quickly select the correct build settings and ensure that the exports are standardized across the entire team. You can create as many build profiles as you need and easily switch between them with this button. Here I have duplicated my Windows profile and set this one as a debug build profile. I can now isolate just one scene without affecting the scene list for other profiles. And check the development build option and profiler auto connect options. Now when debugging a scene I can easily switch to this profile to do so. Other team members can also set these up and share them across the cloud. Scripting defines in Unity are preprocessor directives that allow you to conditionally compile and execute specific sections of code based on the defined symbols, enabling platform-specific and configuration-specific code variations within the same project. In this case, I will create two. The first I will call debug code and the second cheat. You can call them whatever you like as long as you use the same reference name in code. The script in define section will be in a hash if followed by the name you entered. The code in this section will only run when this profile is active. The code then ends using an hash end if. The cheat is here used to speed up the debugging process by allowing for a key press to activate a nitro boost without having to find a pickup. Things like this can be useful for development but also to include as cheat modes for some games, allowing users to discover these cheats to find different ways to complete your game. You could use the scripting defines to add extra interactivity for mobile, extra levels or cheat codes on different platforms, etc. When you change your build profile, the code is then greyed out as this is no longer running. Ensure the code in these sections are not essential for the usual running of the code, otherwise it could cause compile issues on other build profiles. To find out more, click on the link in the video description below. Thanks for watching.